Okay. Now, I have heard and seen some intelligent young people in my life. But you, kid, you take the cake. You're very well versed in your science. I want to know what school you went to so that I can send my grandson there. <laughs> I'm serious. Very good. Uh, you've got the, you've you've got the tiger by the tail. You hit the nail right on the head, as they say. You drove it right through the wood. You drove the old nail out, which is uh, pandering to the ignorance of uh, ignorance. <laughs> you know, ignorant people, stupid, stitious people. Uh, they're still pandering to their ignorance. Why are people doing this? Why do they insist on this uh, magician to explain everything? I think it's just laziness. They just want, you know, everything right now. It's like, you know, instant gratification. It has to be explained right now. If you don't know everything there is to know about biology, then it must have been God that created it. Because, well, it had to be, right? That's like saying, well, there is no God because you can't prove there. No, I mean, there's a God because you can't prove there isn't one. Okay. Yeah, right. That's a good one, too. Isn't that crazy? Some of the things they come up with and say and do. But you keep it up, youngster. You got it going on. You're right. Evolution has absolutely nothing to do with the Big Bang. The Big Bang theory is just a theory of in phys physics about the uh, the possible uh, beginnings of this cycle of universe. I say this cycle because I believe that it is cyclic. That there's been more than one Big Bang. You know, it breathes in and out just like the universe does. It's like our galaxy, our solar system, like we do. Inhale, exhale. Big bang, boom. Back in, compresses all over again. What can it do but bang again? Am I right? That's right. It would be interesting to know which, what example of life there was 20 billion years ago before the universe, you know, the other universe. Well, let's say a hundred billion years ago. The other universe. Yeah. Interesting. What are we going to be like? People don't understand. You can see evolution in... Uh, let's see. In the process right now, if you go over to the Galapagos. Yeah. You can see it in the different uh, iguanas on the different islands. The different finches. Oh. It will blow you away. The Hawaii even. Hawaii is full. Finches came over from the mainland. I'm here. They got so diversified. There's a finch for almost every type of fruit and nut there is. So yeah, evolution is a, it's a thing about the, uh, 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 about uh, biology. Okay. It's about the, uh, how life itself evolves, for lack of a better term. That's the term. And uh, spontaneous emergence is not evolution. However, it is the beginnings uh, that they could say the trigger of life. Spontaneous emergence. Like when things, certain can things come together, certain chemicals, certain uh, carbon and, and sulfurs and nitrogen, it all comes together in a certain way and gets a certain amount of energy to either. Uh, either uh, photosynthesis or chemosynthesis, which we know about now because of the uh, the uh, uh, volcanic vents uh, down in the ocean, the deep, 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 deepest Marianas Trench type part of the ocean where it's like, uh, I mean, the pressure is so incredible. It's thousands of pounds per square inch type of pressure. The water out of these vents is hundreds of degrees, and yet it is just teeming with life. Amazing. Feeding off bacteria and such, you know, the chemicals within the water. Not only that, deep inside the walls of the vents themselves are extremophiles. Yeah. Bacteria living off the minerals in the rock. 
Isn't that amazing? That's the most incredible. And so, you know, yeah, there's so many different examples of life that, uh, of course, there's evolution. Of course, it has to evolve. There's nothing else I can do. It's it's being bombarded with a with a, uh, outside stimulus, so it has to adapt to that. And that adaptation is called evolution. It's not that hard to figure out. It's not that hard to believe when you've got people running around that believe in a magician. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. They 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 tend to want to debunk evolution that it's not true, and yet they're the people that believe in this magician that magically created everything. And they seem to think one of the things that debunks evolution is those oh, things just don't happen by accident. <laughs> you know, of course you don't. If you got a magician, you can say that, right? <laughs> well, I'm done. You know what I mean? Thanks a lot for being there, kid. You're a good kid. You're pretty smart. Uh, I'm pretty glad that you, uh, you're putting together these videos. Show them old folks what's up, okay? Guide the rest of them, will you? See you later, pal.